Hello, this is Palico Padge, and welcome back to another episode of the Curious Expedition with mods. We are currently playing with the Doctor Who mod, and after a terrible, terrible start, where we've technically we started four times, but who's counting? We have managed to get through to the last expedition, and we are doing awfully well. We, we, we're full on fame, we're full on money, and we've got two. Well, one interesting place to go to, and one not so interesting place to go to. The uh, the, the standard is the Valley of Prehistoric Lands, which contains a, a buried golden pyramid. But as you can see, there are two shrines and three villages. However, we also have the monstrous corrupted lands. That, how much more exciting does that sound? We have two villages, of two portals, five shrines, and a sacrificial well of some sort. And, well, it's corrupted, so it's bound to be more fun. I reckon we should go there. What do you say to that? After a brief stop, the TARDIS was fully charged with Archon energy, and I was excited to continue my adventure. All of time and space lay at my feet. We were approached by the soldier that had tasked us with finding Conrad the Deserter. I was about to say explorer. He's no explorer. Upon hearing that we had resorted to killing him, he assured us that we had acted correctly and rewarded us for our efforts. Ah, what do we have? 100 funds. We received new funds to reward our efforts. I had a fleeting conversation with a scout. He had acquired a treasure map that he was willing to part with for a suitable price. Well, as you know, we are on Expedition 6 of 6. There's going to be no repercussions on this because once we've completed it, that's the game. I'm not too first. I mean, look. Look at our inventory. It's, it's full. We've got lots of money, lots of everything else. I, I don't think we need to take this on. Let's just go in for, as they say, shits and giggles. No, thank you. The news of my glorious adventures had spread, so I was not surprised to see that tales of my previous expeditions had attracted quite some attention. Many new recruits showed up to learn the truth of the stories surrounding my endeavours. Who did I want to recruit? Well, 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 well. I personally, 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 am relatively happy with my numbers i mean do i want anyone i mean a, a soldier some extra die do we do we really need the die artiste probably not sailor eh he's a kleptomaniac anyway i mean they've all got something wrong other than the, the artist i suppose i could take the artist we've got space for the canvases i don't usually have the space for the canvases hmm now, at this point, I am just going to say it's been a while since I've played this game. The Curious Expedition 2 is out, you know. So I've been putting the majority of my time into that. And I can't quite remember if we have a full group or not. I mean, we've got a cook, Abomination, Tyrannosaurus Rex. And a scout. I think we've got a full group. Yeah, track count five of five. No, no thank you, sir. No thank you. My heart jumped with joy as I heard that the vessel was ready for departure. Uh, right, let's uh, let's go and have a look at the equipment. What do we have? I mean, food-wise, what do we have? We've got food cans. And that's about it, isn't it? So, pickled eggs, not everyone's favourite. I'm partial to a pickled egg. Let's take all those. Uh, we've got nine dynamite. I mean, we could take that. We've got loads of bullets. No need for that. We've got our pumpkin lantern, so we don't need to take any torches. We already have a signature rifle. I mean, do we take enough one? Do we be greedy? Um, sextant? Not in the weekday. Uh, let's... Um, a rope? We've got loads of... Uh, we don't need anything. That's the thing. We, we're a okay. I mean, we could take the machetes. Why not? Let's take the machetes. Let's take... I mean, we're not here to save any money now, are we? Let's let's take it all. Let's take it all. Uh, bullets will take up an extra space, which I'm not too fussed about. Shovels we don't need. We could take the climbing gear. Minus eleven. Oh, we actually we successfully managed to spend all our money. Let's um let's pop back a climbing gear or two. That'll do. My heart jumped with joy as I heard that our ship was ready for departure. Hmm. Well, let's go then, I suppose. Expedition 6 of 6, you know. This be it. This be it. Look at that. Oh. Red. It's the sea of blood. And here we be. Here we be. The TARDIS landed with a third. Okay, well. We might as well take everything. We've got the, the cube for the 
portals. We've got the Necronomicon, worst case scenario. What's going on here? Oh, you return to the control room with an exciting discovery. The Vortex Manipulator. What's that? Cheap and nasty temporal technology for emergencies only. Very risky. All right. Well, glad I pressed that, I suppose. Let's go and have a look see around. We have a cave. We approached a cave. The rocky moor seemed to lead deep into the mountain. We needed a torch to uncover its mysteries. I've got a pumpkin lantern. Is that any good? We used our pumpkin lantern to illuminate our descent. We arrived at a remarkable underground body of water. The water was clear as day, sustaining the growth of mushrooms with a vibrant hue. If we were to invest a little time, we would surely be able to collect some of them. Well, let's have a look, see. It took a little while, but we managed to pick a few mushrooms. Oh. We'll take them. We'll take them. Is there anybody with any nasty, nasty, nasty problems? Not at all. Okay. So, what to do? I mean, we're, we're, we're overburdened straight away. That's, that's not good. That's not good. Uh, we could... We could eat a mushroom. See a little bit further. We could... I mean, is now a good time to press the vortex manipulator? See what it does? I mean, it's, it's going to throw us somewhere. I would suspect. You know what? No guts, no glory. Let's do it. Oh! Well, that's handy. Uh, can you can you just keep using it? Very risky. Why is it risky? That seemed to work in my favour. I mean, how how big is this map? Is it nine tiles? Nine tiles. Okay. Well, I suppose now we're here. Let's use the blue mushroom again. See that a little bit further again. There's a funny sound. Not quite sure what that means. Uh, we have some sort of head. I came across a fascinating man-made rock statue. The ghastly visage seemed to focus on us. It was a disconcerting sight and I desired to move on. I saw a few items by the statue which must have been put there by people from a nearby village. Presumably in an attempt to appease the gods. Oh. Well, let's take the elephant tusk and... That'll do, I guess. We don't need the mushroom, do we? Right, so we're going to eat all those. Uh, right, so. What am I going to drop? What am I going to drop? Ooh, awkward. You know what? I think I'm going to have to get rid of the green mushrooms. They will have to go... They will have to go. All right, upwards. Oh, a portal. Let's go have a look. A marvellous gate towered above us. A light swirling at its centre seemed to form some manner of a portal. We mustered the courage and walked through the arch. A moment later, we walked out into an odd landscape. Oh, a raptor straight away. Two raptors, Okay. Oh, big claws. Let's use that. Right, it's halved his health. Quick shot. I mean, I'm guessing I'm going to need the blue die to get that any higher than what it is. If we throw in the claws. Four. And fangs, what's that bleeding of? Two. Okay, so. Uh, quick shot. Shoot. We'll throw the taunt up just in case, but I'm sure we'll be okay. Uh, we shall hold on to you. And you. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Plan shot. Sounds dapper. There we go. Nice quick kill. Right, so we've got the meat. We've got the uh, teeth. We've got the wrap skins. Let's take it all. Right, so... We have a fully leveled up cook. I need one more for that. Uh, we have a fully leveled up cook. So let's get rid 
of the food cans. I don't think we're going to need those. We will make up all the meat. How much are the eggs going for? Don't know. Maybe we need to. Maybe they work a little bit like uh, the cans, where we need to be at a certain low level. So, okay, fine. Um, so, what to get rid of? I mean, one slot overburdened. How much to get over? Seventy-four. All right. Uh, okay. Well, yeah. I guess we're going to drop the machetes then. I suppose. I mean, we're not super desperate, so that's fine. Uh, stone circle, not too fussed about. Let's go over to here. Ah, that's what we come for. The shrine, the shrine. A temple long forgotten by mankind stood bathed in light before us. It was a bold testament to the power of its creators. Low-hanging vines partially concealed the entrance that led within. The building was cold to the touch. There must be some scientific explanation for this phenomenon. We had found a sacred altar room. It was a truly awe-inspiring sight. We found a stone altar that was covered in ancient writings. Gold! Right, let's take it all. I would not leave empty-handed. The treasure was ours for the taking. I stepped into the cold pocket of sorts. I could see my own breath crystallise in the air, and every breath was like tiny needles were being jammed into my nose and throat. Oh, dear. Ooh, right, okay. So, what to scrap now? What to scrap now? Two slots over, but let's... Um, Still can't eat the eggs. Uh, let's, uh, um, I mean, the Necronomicon. Do I want it? Do I need it? I'm, I, I, it's down to desperation when you use the Necronomicon. I don't, I'm, I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. That's fine. I don't need it. Um, so let's carry on eating the meats. And, uh, well... Looks like we're going down here. We might have to fight some zombie pygmies here. I dig it. I mean, you know, you got to do what you got to do. We might run out of time before we get that far. I mean, it's... Oh! We've used the cube. We can carry on searching. We might as well fight the zombie pygmies. How many? Five. Let's roll. Wow. Okay, we've got some big claws there. We'll throw the taunt up. Although, again, I don't think it's going to come to that. We'll go for the shaman to start off with. Take him out. And the other shaman can go down as well. So that leaves four lots of four. Three for a bullet wall. You're down. Uh, two attack, two bleeding, I suppose. Yep, so he's taken care of. And, uh, well, roll. Roll, roll, roll. Once again. Oh. Better throw up a shell. Hmm. Let's throw a couple of bullets in. I might be able to finish him off. I think that's as good. Tip top. We deprive the remains of anything useful. What you got? Uh, raw meat, a spear, some cocoa leaves. Uh, well, we'll take it all, sort out in a second. So, we should probably try and eat the pickled eggs now. Right, it takes you up to 50. That's good. Right, so we'll eat the strawberry just to get rid of the, uh, the vinegary taste of the pickled egg. Uh, a little bit of cocaine at the end is always good. And let's do the uh, the meats. So 65, 80, 95. And we can carry on searching. Why don't you like that? I'm, oh, I'm overburdened still. Ooh. This is uh, toughy. I mean, what do you get rid of? Uh, let's, let's use the mushroom. Let's... I mean, we don't need the spear, do we? We've got lots of stuff to use. Oh, another shrine. Am I in a good place for that? I think so. We can upgrade our animal handlers. Let's do that. That should give us 
another space in our inventory. A shrine towered above us, time had taken its toll on the structure. What remained of a narrow staircase led to the only entrance. I noticed that some of the areas of the structure were overgrown by some sort of abnormal fungus. Its growth was tumorous. Even looking at it made me uncomfortable. Uh, right, so let's use some rope. After securing everyone, we successfully scaled the towering shrine. We arrived at what seemed to be the treasure chamber. We quietly looked around the majestic hall. I held my breath as we discovered an ancient altar in its centre. Good. I would not leave empty handed. Right, so first one patch popped from the ground, then another, then more and more, and it kept growing. The land cracked and broke apart as the fungus spread. I did not want to stain to find what the fungus's effect had on human skin. Probably a sensible idea. Uh, let's eat the. Do you want to eat the meat? Probably not. Probably not. I mean, at this point, it might be worth using the old uh, vortex manipulator again. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a big area. I mean, we've only covered a small area. What's the worst that can happen? I've lost ten sanity. That's that's the worst that can happen. You know what? If if that's as bad as it gets. Oh no, it gets worse. We've lost it. We've lost <laughs> we've lost the vortex manipulator. Okay. Well, I suppose at least now we could uh eat the meat, get our sanity up and make it so we can move again properly. Uh, let's go and have a look at this question mark. Another shrine. We stood before a temple comprised of huge stones. All manner of plant life grew towards the sun. Grand stairs led up to an enormous doorway. Celestial symbols of the sun, moon and stars were carved on the various surfaces of the structure. Oh, my my, my favourite. My favourite curse. We arrived at what seemed to be the treasure chamber. It was a truly awe-inspiring sight. We found a stone altar that was covered in ancient writings. Take it all. I would not leave empty-handed. The treasure was ours for the taking. As we took what we came for, I noticed a black nothingness begin to form atop the altar, like a pinprick in the flesh of reality. It was expanding steadily, visibly, destructively. All we could do was run as far away from it as possible and hope. Cool. I mean, how long have we got left? 11 days. Two slots overburdened. So... I mean, fame's only 20 on the Elephant Tusk. And we've got plenty of items to trade. I mean, at, at this point, the value of the Elephant Tusk is 30 on Trek. Uh, the Raptor Skin is 30. So that's 90 there. These are only 100. And fame of five when we get back so it's 50 fame 50 fame uh 20 40 60 yeah we might as well get rid of the raptor skin and the elephant tusk this is going to be the big dilemma of playing this right now i think why didn't the oh never shine why didn't the spider get sucked up Spider should have got sucked into nothingness then. Never mind. A shrine towered above us. We've done this bit. We've done this bit. Uh, let's use a rope. What do you have? Uh, of water drain and a golden statue. We'll take it all. Uh, another black nothingness. The abyss is out to get us, that's for sure. All uh, right, 27. How many days do we have left? Four. We'll stock up a little bit on the, the eggs. Still not getting anywhere near. Oh, it's because we're overburdened. Oh, it's strawberry. I mean, what to drop now? What to drop now? I suppose I better drop the spider legs now. And carry on. I mean, I suppose the worst part about all the treasure is um, none of it stacks. So that's a little bit more difficult to get around. I could do it finding a missionary or um, 
or a mission, should I say, or maybe getting back to the boat? We'll have a look at that in a second. My vision became blurry. I rubbed my eyes, and when I looked up again, I was back where I originally stepped into that terrible portal. It wasn't that bad, though, was it? It wasn't that bad. I mean, how much to get back? 45. That's it's not bad. That's not bad. I mean, let's do it. Let's go back. We've got so much stuff and everyone's poisoned. Awesome. Stop. Stop, stop, stop. This is not good, actually. How are oh, they like us still? Let's let's stop at the village. Uh, we could do with offloading some stuff, maybe getting her some food or something. The natives have all been wiped out by the plague that ravaged these lands, hobbling around the former village with several hideous abominations. As we approached, we saw a small pile of useful items or looking items left by the entrance to the village. The shambling abominations appeared oblivious to them, and there was ample opportunity to help ourselves to the cash unhindered. Meat. We shall take the meat. Um I'm not fussed by any of that, simply because the meat will be worth more anyway. So we shall leave. We shall leave. Uh, now, because the villagers or the villages we're going to come across are going to be full of abominations, that means the spider legs really aren't worth anything right now. So let's get rid of that. Really? Come on, get us back. I got stuff to offload. I mean, we could go back at this point. Uh, am I confident that we've got enough fame to carry us through without finding the pyramid? Possibly. Possibly. We'll go for two. Just to keep us above water. I'd hate to get back to the TARDIS and then find when we rest that we get a negative trait because of how low our sanity is. So, uh, storage. Right, so I'm going to get rid of you. Is there anything else I want to drop off? Mm, no. That should be fine. And uh, we want to rest. We decided it would be a good idea to stay here to recuperate. The team eagerly gathered wood for a fire. As usual, I walked the vicinity of the camp to ensure that no poisonous animals were in sight. While doing so, I wondered if I would be able to guess the kind of location by its surrounding terrain. For example, it seemed that villages were always close to water. Well, yeah, when they flood, I suppose. And uh, let's go. Let's go. Right, so we might as well at this point, we've had a little diversion uh, and had a look around. We'll now do it a little bit more logically, I think. Although we are going to have to start attacking things to get some meat. Uh, I'm not too fussed by... We can look, we can look. I approached a sinister altar. The pool of blood smelled foul. I'd rather not tell what I found in the pool. Oh, it's not a sacrificial one then. Okay, so we've got a crystal ball. Page of random teleportation. Page of eagle scout and some gold. Why not? Why not? Stop. Uh, we're going to have to go right through. Right through the forest in order to get past the gas. I don't think we took a major poisoning. No, everyone seems alright. We entered a mysterious looking hut. It was dark and damp inside, with all types of dried herbs and other peculiar things hanging from the walls. A native shaman approached us with an absent stare as he chewed on some leaves. What have you got, Mr. Shaman? What have you got? I mean, he's got cocoa leaves. You could always take those. A page of dry lands, page of water drain, hill creation, homebound. We've already got a homebound one, so I'm not too fussed by that. However, cocoa leaves, homebound. If I was to give you those and 
a few teeth. Is that a good deal? I mean, there's, there's nothing else I'd want. We, I'm not too fussed by the random teleportation because we're just going to get around as is anyway. Um, effortless movement in case we run out of sanity and we need to get somewhere sh sharpish. Uh, homebound, obviously that that is a uh, needed possibly. Um, yeah, we're we're done. After some negotiating, we came to a deal. Awesome. Uh, at this point, I think we need to start killing things. So let's uh, let's uh, encroach upon the pygmies and then we have a little bit of meat running away that that's right that's right you've heard my reputation oh oh dear <laughs> got a little bit too close curse of poison oh they're focusing on on mr kneebone already down to half health that's not good seven poison that's ridiculous all right, we're going to have to finish these off in due haste. So, stomp of three. Let's ram the shaman. He needs to be rammed. Um, I'm going to throw down a dynamite. Only because I want these guys to die pretty sharpish. Uh, more cocoa leaves mushrooms rope but we'll take the rope and the cocoa leaves i'm not too fussed by the mushroom uh, and we're going to use our medical on mr kneebone so he's all good i mean we need to take on the horror i think after i have eaten some cocoa leaves oh god here we go all right so tegovari is now paranoid awesome That'll do. Let's hope for the best. Alright, two horrors. 20 health. Full die. I need to go down this, this time, really. Um, a quick shot. Piercing tentacle for four, or we can split the damage. We'll focus on one. We'll focus on one. So let's throw the taunt up. I think we're going to need it. I'm not feeling these die. I don't think this is going to go our way. Do I want to take damage? Not really. Not really. Yeah, I should just focus on the one. So, uh, I'll throw you out. I mean, if I throw a die in, do you stack? Headshot. Damage of five and stunned. That's probably handy on that one. I feel confident we should be able to take this guy down in on this go. He's going to bleed for two. Yes, he's, he's taken care of. All right. That's fine. That's fine. We can deal with a little bit of a punch in, in the Tyrannosaur's knees. I'm sure we'll be all right. I mean, we can't bite, but that's all right. Shoot, shoot, and shoot some more. There we go. All sorted. Meat and black pelts. All right. Why not? Why not? Um, I'm not going to cook the mix. We are next to a village. Attack the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Uh, how damaged is ours? 17. You know what? We're going to take Mr. Kneebone up to full health. And uh, let's uh, let's take down this other T-Rex, I suppose. Oh, look, it's black. With red evil eyes. What's the health of it? 35? Jeez. It's a superpowered T-Rex. We may have to throw some bullets into this. We'll start off with that. We'll throw the taunt up. So 
So if I was to throw that up with that, let's aim shot for four. Why not? We do a couple of bleeds. That will help, I suppose. A stopping sh oh headshot even. Roll again. I mean, there's not a good chance of getting big claws on that dive. We're probably best going for that. Yeah. Okay. Almost there. Almost there. I don't think I could have done anything else. There's uh, nothing else I can throw into the ring. Ho. Ho. All right. Big claws. That's how we're going to finish that guy off. Are we deprived the dead of anything useful? More meat, more teeth. We'll take it all. Take it all. I'm going to heal up Mr. Kneebone again. And uh, I think that is about as far as we're going to go in this episode. We're, we're doing all right. We haven't really discovered a lot of the map. However, it does look like the regions to the right are very much broken up. So I don't think we'll have too much issue covering the rest of the, uh, of the, of the areas. And uh, we seem to be on top of our game when it comes to fighting stuff. So I'm not too worried about that either. Uh, if anything, it's going to be sanity, which is an issue, and carrying space as is always the issue, it would appear. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling confident going into the last episode next time around. So thank you for watching. As always, a like is appreciated, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy.